So we'll look at correct form in a plank. And there are just a few tweaks you can make so that your plank is strong and controlled. So hands underneath the shoulders to start off with, and then we step the legs back into extension. Now, this we do not want, okay? Your hips sinking down to the floor. So what we're gonna do is we're going to squeeze the glutes and pull up through that core so that the back and the spine are all one long extension with the head and the tailbone. I'm gonna tuck the pelvis under slightly, up on the balls of the feet, hands underneath the shoulders. So we don't wanna be up here. This is a semi down dog, okay? So we don't wanna be here. We wanna be strong and brave and come right on top of those hands. Now you've got a pillar of strength going on here. So you've got your shoulder joint, your elbow joint, your wrist, all in one long line. So the weight is traveling down evenly through that pillar of strength. If you're here, then your pillar of strength is massively off and traveling down through the base of the wrist on an angle. And what we want is that strong pillar of strength, like scaffold. You know, if your scaffold's slightly off, it's all coming down. So we want the scaffold in that right place. You can start on your knees, but you want your hips slightly lower than your shoulders. You want to be on the soft, squishy part, about two inches above the knees, and here, if you're progressing your plank from here, where you're drawing that belly button into the spine. So, we're thinking about arm placement, not that wide, right underneath the shoulders, squeezing the core, squeezing the glutes, and just making that small tweak so that your plank is nice and strong. 